Hey guys and welcome back to my wedding planning series. It's been a bit, but I'm finally getting around to making this video. So let's just cut the intros and go ahead and get started. So wedding dress shopping, first of all, was so much fun. I was looking forward to it all week, the week that I was going, and it met all of my expectations. I took my mom, my future mother-in-law, and my future sister-in-law, and they were all super helpful. And I think it was really great for me having a smaller crew with less opinions because I'm very easily swayed and very indecisive but surprisingly in this wedding process I've been pretty decisive for for myself those of you who know me will know what I'm talking about I'm not a very decisive person Adam makes most of our decisions for us but um, through this process I have been pretty decisive and it did help to have their opinions but in the end I made my own decision anyways so I had a great group of people with me and we went to Brides and Bells here in Aberdeen because shop local and support local. And let me tell you, the staff there is amazing. 100% highly recommend, five stars. Steph was amazing. She made the experience so fun and she's so knowledgeable. I went in, I had a style in mind from my Pinterest board. You know, ladies, we all have those. At least I think that we all have those. Um, I showed her the styles that I wanted and she just went away picking dress after dress after dress I think she had like nine or so dresses and I only picked one of them So she knew my style right away and she hit it on the head and yeah, we just had a really good time So I'll go ahead and get into some pictures and videos that my mom took of the dresses Of course, it's vertical So I'll just kind of show it here on the side or play it over but just ignore the black sides because that'll happen um but yeah, the first dress I tried on, I liked right away. I thought that it was really flattering. I liked the keyhole back. Um, super fun. And then Steph did this thing to kind of cinch my waist or accentuate it more, where she put like a little sparkly belt and she said that she could kind of go down the back and tie it into the zipper, which was really pretty. So we automatically made that one a contender and it was the first one I tried on. Then I continued trying on dresses. Some were just more because Steph wanted to see me in them and we thought it would be fun and I wanted to try on all the different styles because you know, you only get to do this once in your life so you might as well take full advantage of it, right? So I tried on a long sleeve dress and then when I couldn't lift my arms like this and the fact that I'm getting married in May um, and I kind of sweat a lot, TMI maybe, but whatever, we decided long sleeves wasn't for me. <laughs> And then I tried on some dresses that were more fit and flare, which were fun to twirl around in, but ultimately not really my style. And I tried on some fun ones that I felt like I should be going to a red carpet event, super sparkly and fun and glitz and glam and made me actually want to be a celebrity and get to dress like that all the time because it's so much fun. I just want to get married every day and have a different dress every day. And then I tried on the second contender dress, which was kind of a v-neck scoop back, lots of lace, long back, really pretty cutouts, um, just really pretty, very similar to some of the Pinterest pictures I had showed her, so we liked that one automatically as well. Then I tried on a really fun dress with a cape, which apparently capes are very in this year, or this coming year, which is super cool. It was so pretty, it had a really pretty back. Um, but I guess you do capes, you can do them instead of veils or with your veils and it's just super fun and it can be taken off, which was really cool. Steph showed us how to do that. And then when we were about halfway through the trying on process, when I had tried on my second contender dress, I said something I liked about it was that it was really vintage. Hint to my dress, but. Anyway, so Steph pulled a different dress that I tried on that ended up being my dress, but we were with the keyhole dress, which when I tried it back on, we decided it was more of what we called a Lindy dress, which is my younger sister who's a little more conservative. It would make her arms look really good, blah, blah, all this stuff, but we just decided it wasn't for me. And then we were in between this dress and the dress that I ended up choosing. We went back and forth. Um, Meg, my future sister-in-law, actually was like, okay, put her back in that one again. Can we see it again? Okay, now put on the other one one more time. And that actually helped so much because I was able to see myself back to back in them and just be like, no, wait, this is my dress. This is the one I want. This is the one I see myself in and just think it's perfect for my day. So of course, I'm not going to show you guys that one. I know it sucks, but I don't want anybody who's not supposed to see it to see it on here. Um, but you guys will see it in the wedding vlog and video. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss 
those. But yeah, that was my first dress try-on experience. We ended up finding the one the day of, which is good, because apparently dresses take a long time to come in, and my dress is going to get here April, and I get married May. So, plenty of time, but if I had waited any longer, I would not have enough time to get the alterations and all that kind of stuff that needs to get done. But I am still going to Austin, Texas for Christmas with my family and my sisters and I are all going to go dress shopping and try on some more fun dresses and I'm actually going to a salon that has the exact dress so I'll get to try it on for them and I'll be sure to take you guys along so you can see that experience with my sisters and it'll just be fun. Of course, again, I won't show you the dress but maybe I'll show you their reactions. That'll be fun. Anyways, that is it for this video guys. Short and sweet and to the point, I hope. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further wedding planning stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!